Hey, and good afternoon. I'm Angela Brown, and I'm here today with Michael LeClerc from Skyrun Properties, and we are going to learn some really interesting things about how to clean for Airbnbs. Now, I get this question asked a lot. How do we get into the Airbnb business? How do we clean vacation rentals, short-term rentals? It's a really interesting topic for a lot of cleaning companies. And so today we've got Michael who is the owner of Skyrim Properties in Park City, Utah. And he's the property management company that works with the cleaners. How are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Thank That's you so much for joining us. All right, so I'm curious, have you ever fired a cleaning company? And if so, why? Yes, we have. Mostly inconsistent cleans. Inconsistency, it's a death knell, right? You need to know that things are going to happen when they're supposed to happen at the quality you're expecting them to happen. And everyone has days, and that's why we send an inspector out to every property, because we understand that life happens, right? But when it happens too often and we can't count on it, it just has to happen. But we've only fired two companies. There's no fun there. It's a business for them, right? If they have 20 of our properties and we pull those properties, it's a, a very big impact on their business, but we would never do it just on a whim. It's all mm -hmm. after many conversations and many attempts to rectify whatever the situation is that's causing the conference, not confrontation, but the situation to happen. And listen, we're not perfect either. We things happen, right? Sometimes a booking doesn't get communicated, even though it's in the software. I mean, it, so we understand we're not a perfect company either. We try our best. And I guess that's what we expect people who work with us to, to also try their best. Well, and I, I do love the fact that you're willing to give them a try and that you're willing to communicate with them and you're willing to give them a second chance and say, Hey, something malfunctioned here. And let's not, you know, let's make sure this never happens again. I think it's really important for house cleaners to understand that the Airbnb or vacation rental industry is a really specific level of stress. And I say stress, it's not just, mm, it's willy nilly and I'll get there whenever I can. There's going to be a range of nine to 12 and I'm just going to show up whenever I feel good and ready or whenever I'm available. It's not like that. There's a very specific window where you have to show up if guests are coming in, you have to be done before a certain time. And so there's a very specific level of excellence that is required on every single job. Can you speak to us about the level of excellence and how that ties into the five-star ratings and reviews? All the reviews, all the good PS comments we get build on the housekeeping, because if the housekeeping isn't done well, immediately you kind of start looking for other things that maybe are wrong. If they come in and there's a hair on the pillow or there's a tissue underneath the sofa that didn't get noticed and they see it. Then they start thinking, oh my gosh, what else is not clean? What else? And then they start really looking more deeply. And if they find something else, then it just kind of cascades into a situation where sometimes we have had to send housekeeping back out to do a full clean when a guest has already arrived because of something like a a hair on a pillow. I mean, it seems so silly, a hair on a pillow, but it's just not something that could be acceptable, right? So all our inspectors have little lint rollers and they're instructed to go through all the pillows and make sure they roll, they look at them all and just pick up any, because it's not even that someone didn't clean the pillowcase, right? They're cleaning, they're working and they leave the room and one of their hairs is just floating around in the air and it just comes down and lands on the pillow. I mean, it's not like something intentional. That's why I think it's really important for the management company to take some responsibility and not just count on housekeeping to be the final view before the guest arrives. I'm so glad you brought that up though. And I want to talk about the hair. It is the reason why in the cleaning business, we insist that we take a shower, we wet our hair, we pull it back, we gel it back, we tie it in a tight knot. Man bun, if you're a guy and you have long hair for this very reason. It is proven that we lose 150 to 200 hairs a day mm -hmm. and you cannot control that you're only going to lose them at your house. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose them at any house and it happens randomly throughout the day, but you cannot risk losing a hair at a job. You cannot because you will get a call back and that is the number one reason 
we get callbacks. There was a hair behind the bathroom door. There was a hair on a pillow. There was a hair in the kitchen on the white tile in the kitchen. I mean, it, it, people feel like it's unsanitary, yeah. right? And just like Michael said, you could be cleaning and you did an amazing job. And on the way out the door, one of your hairs flew off and hit the floor or something. Okay. You cannot, you cannot. That's where we use hairspray. We use gel. We, what, whatever you got to do, make it stick. This hair that you see right now, this is the look. This is what it looks like. And you cannot lose any hair while you're on a job. Like I say, it will cost you a job. It will make you go back for a reclean. And that's 20 minutes in commute time. And it's lost revenue in the, the time that you got to go stop. And then you don't know if it was just one hair. Now you got to check behind all the bathroom doors and you got to check in the kitchen and all the other places. It's a colossal waste of time. Don't do it. Exactly. Well, yeah, I couldn't agree more. And one thing I wanted to add on to that, the other th reason why we do our own inspections, is I don't think it's fair when property management companies count on housekeeping to do their inspections because there's things like, handles on the door is loose. The blind won't go up and down. I don't expect housekeeping to report that to me. I expect them if the bed is broken or something like that. But you know, there's, they're busy cleaning and I don't expect them to do the inspector's job. So I think property management companies need to participate in that and not just say, oh, well, housekeeping was there. I know companies that just don't do inspections and they just give their gas a uh, discount on their cleaning or don't charge them for cleaning rather than pay an inspector to go in and do the job. But you're not going to get five-star reviews with that kind of, it might be more cost efficient, but I don't think you should count on housekeeping to do your final inspection before the house is guest ready. So, yeah. And I love that you feel that way. As a cleaning company, I feel that way about the cleaning company. We use a checklist that we create with an Airbnb host or a property manager. And together we decide what that property must look like when it is passed. When this passes inspection, what does this look like? So that we both know what that level of excellence is. And then we have a checklist and we do inspect our own work before we leave the property for this reason. If I know that I've got somebody coming in to double check my work, and they're going to find things that I have slided or ignored or left behind. Now, maybe there is a loose handle. And if I can tell you that, your guy can come right to the loose handle. You guys can fix it. Boom, we're done, right? That's us working together. But I don't ever want a cleaner. And I want to make this very clear because I love what Michael said. Michael said from a property management side, he said, our guys are going to do the inspection. From the cleaner side, our guys are going to do the inspection, okay? The cleaners, I want the cleaners to do their own inspection so that when you leave, your head is held high and you're like, I did my best work. There's going to be a five-star review waiting for me because of the job I just did. And that's how I want you to leave the property. And if an inspector comes in behind you, I want them to turn around and go, there was nothing for me to fix. It was awesome. That's what I want them to say. Okay. So this is me and Michael looking at you guys straight in the eye saying, listen, you guys, check your bases and do your inspections and check your work because the level of excellence is so high in this game. And I got to tell you this, there are so many properties that are out there and their competition is fierce. This is a really fierce game and it's not just Airbnbs competing with each other. But they're also competing with the hotel industry. Okay. So every time anyone anywhere can get a room somewhere for the night, that's the competition. And it's not just Airbnbs. So if you don't work for a hotel and you do work for a cleaning company, it, your job is on the line. It is so important that when you leave that job, no stones are unturned, okay? Everything has been checked. Everything has been done. Everything has been marked off. When you leave, you're like, oh yeah, I got this. We also share the five-star reviews with our housekeeping teams too. So if we get a stellar review that mentions cleaning in there, we'll send that to the housekeeping team too with big thank you yeah all righty our time is up for today oh my goodness i can't believe how fast our time has flown and this has been absolutely joyous thank you so much michael leclerc for joining us today for all of your insights and wisdom please tell our listeners where they can go to find you yeah we're easy to find we're in uh sky run park city park city utah we manage properties in deer valley park city and uh, the canyons so we live in a beautiful place and come visit us sometime Love to have you.